All of comedy is on some level saying something you shouldn't have said. That's a quote from Louis C.K. describing how he feels about comedy. And he goes on to mention a few different types of things you shouldn't say. Uh, things that are too private, things that are obscene, stupid or crazy sounding, or just outright nonsensical. And uh, so why do we want to say things we shouldn't say? Well, because they're funny. And uh, being funny has been shown to help you make more friends. It can broaden your romantic prospects. Uh, it can make you more charismatic and likable. It hasn't worked for me, but I keep trying. You guys should too. Um, Louis gives his own purpose for what he, he thinks comedy is for. And he says, if you can take people to those places, make them laugh, make them happy, suddenly there's, they're there safely. And that's expanding where you're willing to go with your mind. And he goes on to say, sometimes also it's just jokes. Uh, I love the mechanics of jokes. And I completely agree with that. So I'm doing a speech about it. We're going to go over necktie theory, twist and point, and resonance. And we're just going to kick it off now. Uh, necktie theory is essentially this idea that we have stuff like neckties in society that we all agree are formal and masculine, but that's just a subjective accepted reality where objectively it's just a piece of un evenly thick fabric around somebody's neck. And uh, so your job as a comedian is to find those accepted subjective realities and highlight them in a critical way, showing that they don't match up with objective truth or objective reality, if it even exists. Um, so you typically do this with a story A and story B, where you start with story A and then you reveal that you're describing something in story B. And I'll give an example with a joke I've written. Uh, I've heard a bunch of Americans say that they're big country fans, but I've never heard even a single Japanese citizen say they're tiny country fans. We're so much more patriotic, you guys. Um, Anyway, there always has to be that differential, that uh, element of surprise. And I'll give you another joke, sadly, that I wrote. Uh, what do you call a Muslim vampire? A mosquito. Uh, and so that's an example of a bad joke. Um, it fails on two of the fundamental parts of what a joke should be. A joke should have a solid twist and point. And that joke has a disconnected twist. Uh, so having a lack of a twist in a joke would be kind of akin to a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat right after you saw him put it in there. Uh, and having too far of a twist would be like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat and it's dead and he still goes, ta-da! <laughs> And then that joke also fails on the front of the point. There's no successful or interesting uh, criticism of the accepted subjective reality in that joke. It's just sort of a stupid pun. Um, so the reason a joke needs both of those is because the goal of a good joke is to make people think about something in a way they haven't before. Um, and in that way, jokes work best when they touch on subjective realities that we have a mutual agreement about. And that has another name in comedy, which is resonance. You want to make your jokes relative uh, or relatable on the basis of experience, ideas, or emotions. And so I'll give you an example that hopefully achieves that. Um, I was dating this girl, this gal for uh, several years, and we almost got married, the whole thing. And I realized that long-term relationships are a lot like unlimited pizza, except for every year you have to add a topping that you don't really like, like olives. Or what I found out was my least favorite topping, her slowly becoming her mother. Um, but so, so much of comedy, especially modern comedy, is built on gaining the confidence of the audience 
through resonance, through that identification, so that you can go to those more uncomfortable places. Uh, you're much more likely to be able to take somebody that, where they don't want to go if you build that relationship first, get them to empathize with you. Uh, it's how I keep ending up at Ikea. So I think I've successfully gone through joke mechanics and explained them. I've explained the foundation and necktie theory, the necessity of a twist and point, and of resonance. And uh, I think you should start writing more jokes, start saying more things you shouldn't say. Uh, there's tons of health ben benefits to laughter too. Lower stress, blood pressure, immune system boost, and uh, humor has been shown to help people process traumatic things and keep a healthy perspective. Say some things you shouldn't say.